last time on Total War Three Kingdoms. Sun Tzu and our heroes were able to defeat an invasion by Sai Bao towards our capital. At the same time, Sun Tian was able to lead his forces and defeat Lady Sai in the north as she besieged the city of Tianlin. We regroup of our heroes as they replenish and gather their strength for the coming war to defeat Lu Biao and Huang Zhu and claim their place as the Emperor of China. Yu Xin de Shu Guang Lin Tin Wall Man. Welcome back everybody to our Sun Tian campaign. This will be episode nine. Um I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you guys enjoyed part eight. We're going we're taking place right at the end of our last part. We haven't even hit turn yet. Shout out to Spartacus of Stan Deutschland uh, for his comment on the last part. I don't know how I didn't realize that Sai, Ma Sai Shun was probably Sai Mao's son. Since they had the same family name, I forgot that like in China and Japan, and I'm not sure if there are other parts in Asia, the first name given is the family name. So of course they were related. I don't know. I don't know how I fucking forgot that. Uh, so yeah, it hasn't mean that the that Sai Shun was legendary though his name was gold but he was Sai Mao's son so he died Sai Mao I believe survived we didn't get a notification that he died so I'm sure he's somewhere in a recruitment pool maybe we'll fight him again in the campaign later on so we're gonna go ahead and end the turn now I hope you guys enjoyed part eight I hope you guys are enjoying the content so far in the campaign overall if you are, then, you know, please click the like and subscribe. If this is your first time watching my video, then uh, a video of mine, I'm, in, I'm not going to tell you to click like and subscribe now because pretty much nothing has happened yet. Later on, as far as you can get through the video, if you're entertained and you like the content and you feel like you might want to see more content from me, go ahead and click the like and subscribe. That really helps out. But only if you, you've watched some of the video and you actually enjoy it. Like, I'm not going to tell you to do it now because... Like I said, nothing has really happened. I mean, if you're still enjoying it, you don't have to subscribe. It's completely up to you, but I'd really appreciate it, and it really helped my channel out. Common deals, peace. Lubia will sign peace with us, and we will get almost 5,000 gold. We need gold. We haven't built up our infrastructure at all. Our infrastructure. Infrastructure. You pronounce the R? Infrastructure. We haven't built up our cities at all. Our capital, Tiangling, is bigger than our capital currently, but we are upgrading that. But we are going to reject for now. We will remember this. Lu Biao is on the back foot. And we're going to take advantage of that. We're going to destroy this army. We're going to... Maintaining public order is essential. If the people become too unhappy, they may rebel. Ensure your population has enough food, and use stationed armies. Gongzun's Gongzun. Isn't it Gongzun Zan? Declared war on the Yellow Term Rebellion. Dong Zhuo signed a peace treaty with Lu Dai. Gong Du left the coalition of Hoi Yi. Gao Gan signed a peace treaty with Lu Dai. Lu Dai declared war on Zheng Chao. Feng Li is available to recruit. Alright, let's see. Anybody good to recruit? Not that we have any money to do so. What I plan for this part is we're gonna march, or we're gonna bring Sunza here down south to capture the rest of Changsha. We really want that tea house that's gonna make us a lot of money because that's a trade resource. And we want the armor craftsmen so we can get, we'll, ha we'll have a random chance to get an armor every now and then. It's like a random chance. And if we upgrade it, we can 
we get a higher chance of getting better higher tier armors. And even if we get like common armors, we can use them in diplomacy now. To s we can sell them and make a good amount of money. Is it just these two? Yeah, these are the only two other territories. So we're going to go ahead and march him down to the capital. Oh, you're encamped. I forgot I did that. I don't think we need to put you in the city. Is there a city that's unhappy? Oh, this one. Hostile forces and faction support. Are you serious? They're still that unhappy? Damn it, I was hoping to just go after Huang Zhu, but it looks like we're gonna have to defeat this army. Why does it... Why did we move so... so little space? What? Like... They were right there, and they moved all the way there. It would take us two turns to move that distance. This is where they were at. Somehow they moved that distance in one turn. Oh, she's in March, that's why. No, that makes sense now. I may go to March as well. Ready yourselves. The way is set. Rest and patience restores. We're out of movement points. Sun is gonna move down. Head towards South Chengsha. Take those two regions. I was hoping to use Sun Tian to attack Huangzu this part, but Damn it, I forgot to set my fucking stopwatch again. Every fucking time. I'm assuming it's been like at least six minutes. Madness. But we need to destroy this army because the city is unhappy. Is there something I can build to improve the happiness? Plus 50% food production. Plus 75% food production. Plus 25% income from peasantry. We're gonna go for this, but I'm not sure if we're gonna do that right now. Merchant Guard Barracks. Six, no, that's 4,000. And it'll give us another building slot, so that'd be nice. Four more turns before we upgrade our capital. We need a, a reform to build this up. The lumber yard in Badong. We don't have too much money. How much money do we make here from commerce? 145, 100 base, and then plus 45% due to bonuses. It'd go up by 10%. So it'd go up by what, 10? It's not really worth it. I kind of would rather go for the food production. Right now we're making 10 food here. Let's save up so we can build up this city. Let's end the turn. Alright, they ran away. Hopefully that'll improve our public order in, in Tianling. Peace, Huangzu. Eject. We're taking his city. We're gonna complete the mission of destroying uh, Lu Biao's vassals. Vassals, vassals. And then we will go for Lu Biao next. 
Starts off from the coalition with Liu Bei. Gongzhu and Zan declared war on Zhang Yang. Zhang Yang signed a peace treaty with Gao Gan. To be truly wise is to surround yourself with other like-minded souls. These two find friendship in each other, with intelligence enough to know such a thing is rare and so should be nurtured. For cleverness is not just knowing facts, but knowing feelings, too. Zhang Tiang and Zhao Yu have become better friends? Awesome. Because we're probably going to replace Xiao Huo Yun with uh, Zhao Yu. Zhao Yu. And so there's gained farmer. So it's good to know that they get along. Yellow Turban Rebellion capital is uh, the town of Runan. There's the iron mine. I'm guessing it's somewhere around here. But we don't have any line of sight on it. What are they still replenishing? They have 240. I guess some of them are still wounded. Where's the road? Is this the road? Oh, that's the road. We'll wait one more turn. I want to have Sunzo repl re Sunzo's repl army replenished. Remain brave. Standard stance. All right, let's start heading for Jing Tiangsha. Wolf, we'll march. There's no enemy armies nearby, and we can still we're still gonna have to take about two more turns before we can attack him. And we're back. What were we doing? Right, we were moving towards Huangzhou to take uh, Tiangsha. Tiangsha. So we're gonna go ahead and end the. Actually, we're trying to check diplomacy. Can we get? No, no new trade partners. Who's around us? Nobody really, there's nobody to trade with. Sai Mao is at war with the Yellow Turban Rebellion, the Han Empire, and Dong Zhuo. He's in an alliance war. He's in an alliance war against Zhang Ying, Wang Kuang, Liu Dai, Yun Shao. He doesn't have much territory. He's got, well, from what we can see, he's got two provinces, two and a half provinces. Liu Dai has taken some of his territory, I'm assuming, or maybe Liu Dai already had that. So I don't really see any point in having anything with Cao Cao at the point at, at this point he's not really that powerful not really anyone to worry about we're gonna go ahead and end the turn forgot to start up my stopwatch again or to start it back up from when I took the break Cao Cao signed a peace treaty with Dong Zhuo Gao Gan declared war on the Han Empire. Dong Shu declared war on Gao Gan. Assignments. The following generals have been recalled from their assignments and will return to court. Zhao Ye. Damn it, now we're making less money from Ching Sha. Let's see if we can put him back. Yeah, we have to wait a turn before he comes back. And before we can do it. Whilst on military campaign together, I found our mutual affinity to be advantageous. Sunza 
Sunza and Shao Yun have become friends. That's good. That's what we want. We want the doll become friends. Liru, people of merit. Not a legendary lord. That's what I just clicked. I don't know why I clicked it again. Normal. Normal stance, and we're going to start moving towards Wang Zhu. In fact, we'll move just to the border between our two regions. We're in the spring. I think it was just now winter. I honestly can't remember now. We want to attack like right after winter because we don't want to be in a siege in the middle of winter we will lose a ton of supplies I think you lose well about 40 a turn in winter Spreading the word of our cause. we're gonna move on the road hopefully that'll help us move faster okay the road takes us to the armor craftsman first so that's what we're gonna attack next turn we actually should have probably recruited more units. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't. I wasn't paying attention to that army. That's okay, we should still do fine. How's the public order now? It says zero. Minus six food production distribution. So we lose minus four food. Go up by plus 200,000 population capacity. We get four more prestige. No increases in income. Two more turns for that. Yeah, we'll upgrade uh, Tiangling because we need to improve that public order. I didn't realize it was that low. One direction. One direction. We'll go for a reform. Extended conscription period. Minus 8% recruitment cost for spear infantry. Plus 1 starting rank for melee infantry recruits. Uh, That's okay. I don't think I'm really interested in that right now. We might need to go for this so we can upgrade that livestock farm in Tiangling. And plus 3k population growth to all counties faction wide. That is actually, that would sound, that would be really good I think because our income is not doing that well for peasantry right now. Our population is not doing too well either. It hasn't really grown that much. Hereditary Buku. Buchu. Minus two mustering turns, plus one starting rank for melee cavalry recruit. I want to get those green dragons. No, those jade dragons. Jade dragons. Damn. Minus 10% rate new upkeep. That really helps. Plus one available army. Now we're going to go for this. We're going to go for the population growth right now. And also then we can upgrade this livestock farm to the next level. Was that not it? That wasn't the right reform? No, it's that reform. Damn it. So what was this one? Livestock estate. I think that's what we already have. Shit. Yep. What a fucking idiot. Okay, so we fucked that up, but the population growth is still beneficial Because this one we're actually losing Minus 16,000 Due to public order Shit That's really fucking bad. We definitely need to build something there to improve the public order We're gonna end the turn Uh, 
Ah, oh, damn it, Liu Biao's back. And I think that's his son, Liu Kong. Dong Zhuo formed a coalition with Kong Rong. Wow. Even the sight of a few people brightens the darkness. Dong Zhuo signed a peace treaty with Liu Bei. Sun Tian has become trusting. I thought he already had that. While serving together in office, I found this one to be most agreeable. Zhang Tiang and Sun Tian have become friends. Hua Yi has a new capital in the town of Runan, so he took the capital of the Yellow Turban Rebellion. That's still crazy that he's at war with the Yellow Turban Rebellion. Alright, now hopefully we can do that assignment. Plus 50% income from commerce, plus 15% income from industry. Plus 50% income for peasantry, which we don't make a lot of, a lot from. Xu Ying Shou. Maybe when, no, we need the money. Minus 50% corruption, plus 30% income from industry. Minus 10% construction cost, minus 1 construction time. Minus 25% building upkeep. Yeah, we're gonna go with Xiao Yu again. It won't take effect until next turn. Let's move Sun Tian towards Liu Kong. We can actually reach him too when he's in March, so I don't think he can run away. Nope. He's not a legendary general, so he might actually die this this turn. Let's quick save. And uh, let's get you guys a battle. Why is it showing this screen? This is like usually the screen for the end of a battle. I guess none of the generals had anything to say though. Because that's what usually happens, it usually shows them. And then they say something. Bring everybody back so I can concentrate and see what I need to do. Archers at the front. Your control group one. G militia. We'll, we'll grab them like this. Oh no, wait. I'm hoping this will put them in formation the way I'm clicking them. Yeah, it did. It did. It. That, that's good. That's what I wanted. I wanted the G militia in the middle. That's a group two. Mercenary infantry, you're on the right. I mean, on the left flank. You're group three. TN sword guards, you'll be control group four. You'll be on the right flank. Sun Tian, Cheng Pu. You'll be in the middle. You'll be control group five. The time has come. These uh, mounted lancer militia will be control group six. Mounted saber militia will be control group seven. One guy, I guess you'll just be eight. We're gonna put our cavalry and Huang guy. Near our enemies. Damn it, I didn't want to click that. Where can we put them? We can't put them there. We'll put them here. In these woods. We'll go ahead and start that battle. Okay, 
Troll Group 1. Damn, they've got as many archers as we do. And they're actually uphill. Are you guys up? Are you guys up on the right? Are you guys up on the left? Oh, I didn't choose both of you. I forgot that I could just press the number key. And you guys are gonna move up into these woods. We need you guys close so you can hit them from behind. I'm contemplating whether I should charge them into these guys before our infantry and then move up our infantry really quickly to kind of surround them or should I wait for them to get into our infantry and then we'll use them for for uh, rear charges our archers are starting to fire they have fire arrows. Can we duel? Ding hoo boo. We're going to decline. Apparently that guy's got a an advantage. They don't want to fight Sun Tzu. I mean Sun Tian. Our success looms large. Move up even closer. Let's start moving up. Why the hell does it feel like it's going slow when I click them? You are too pathetic to survive. I will crush you for this insult. Let's start moving up. One of the archer units has been destroyed. Rotate, because they're coming near you already, and you as well. How many have you killed? Not enough, I think. Let's get these mercenary infantry closer. Get into their side. You flank around. Huang guy, you go after that unit. It's breaking. You guys move up. You're about to go into be into them from behind. Let's get our generals in there. Go after Ling Hu Bu. Get into that non disabled militia. Finish them off with those mercenary infantry. No, we're not going to chase them off with a mercenary infantry. We're going to move them up. Hopefully get into these in, these uh, spear guards from behind. The enemy more. And you will Damn never it, these TN Sar guards. Yes, get into there. Get into those archer militia. You, you get into the other unit. Our lancers, you're going to mount the lancer militia. You're going to move up. You're going to hit these infantry from behind. Alright, this flank, the left flank has gone our way. We've destroyed their units there. We're gonna go ahead and try to charge into them. Hit their strategist with our mounted Lancer militia. Get this infantry, these axe bands and mercenary infantry into these uh, G militia. They're gone already though. Gonna you know, decline that. Go after Lu Kong. Get these guys into those uh, enemy infantry. Cheng Pu, Mei Huang guy, you need to get over here. We need you fighting their generals. Stand ready, kill them. Damn it, we left our mounts of Lancer militia in there too long. Need to pull our cavalry out. The enemy unit flees. 
What cowards! Alright, they've only got their generals left, I believe. Yeah, it looks like that's all. We got Liu Kong. There we go, man. We won. That's pretty fucking easy. We did. We did really outnumber them. Decisive victory. There we go. 95 men left. Damn, we still lost around 500. That archer unit actually got 133 kills. Wow. I can't believe they got that many kills in that amount of time. Damn. Heaven smiles upon us. Oh, that's a lot of fucking money. Liu Kong, we got him. We captured him. Friends with Liu Biao. Friends with Lady Sai. She's dead though, so I don't know why it's showing that. Rebels with one guy. Rebels with Sun Tian. Rebels with Ching Pu. Current retinue. Saber militia. I am the heir of my faction. I cannot walk away from that. Anti Saber Militia, G Militia, Archer Militia. Uh, the Archer Militia, he can get Infantry of Ting, Imperial Defenders, Tian Sword, Guard of Cavalry. Nothing really that impressive. We could get Tax Collector. Don't really care about that. We'll release him. I want the money. Kill me or release me. These are your only options. Wise. Loyal. You wise, you loyal, you smart. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen that fucking DJ Khaled? <laughs> that fucking music video, that shit is so fucking stupid. You wise, you smart, you loyal. <laughs> Archer Militia. She can get this. Oh, she can get Infantry of Ting, Imperial Defenders, and Heavy Crossbowmen. That's fucking cool. I forgot that um, strategists can get different units. Uh, you don't have anything I want. Yeah, we'll release you as well. Go, deliver news of your defeat. Damn, I actually lost more men than I thought. We lost seven hundred fifty-six. I thought we had thirty-three hundred men. We had thirty-five hundred. We'll recruit and we'll replenish our forces. Ah, oh, damn it! He's still in my fucking territory. Now our public order is going to be going down even more. No, it's actually not. Oaf sworn. Cheng Pu and Hong Gai have become Oaf sworn. Alright guys, uh, I think I'm going to be ending it soon, but we're going to go ahead and just end this turn, see what happens. Actually, no, we have to go soon as well. Predict a close victory. Close victory. Close. They don't have towers, right? No, they don't. So... What do they have? Oh, they have an actual general. Zu... Zu Tun. Zu Tun. Zu Tun. Is it Zu Tun? Zu Tun? Or maybe it is Zu Shun. But I'm pretty sure the G... The J is like... The Zhu. What the fuck are you thinking? The J is like pretty much like a T sound. In the Mandarin. Tian Infantry Captain, 
Saber Militia, Saber Militia, Mounted Saber Militia, Two Archer Militia, Two Mounted Lancer Militia. You know what? Let's fucking do it. Or let's see if we can demand surrender. This is what you train for. Okay, never mind. <laughs> you guys are about to get like a second battle, but fuck it. We'll do this. We'll just occupy it. I didn't think that they would actually surrender. I've never had the AI do that before. Follow the heart. Nothing popped up for that. Order will spread throughout. Now we've got the armor craftsman. This craftsman can produce exceptional armor with a very small chance of producing unique armor. This craftsman, this craftsman can produce exceptional armor with a very small chance of producing unique armor. So what does that do? That just increases the reserve capacity in the garrison by two cavalry and one saber militia, or no, I think one Tien, Tien infantry. Oh, it's only a level 1. I thought it was like already a higher level. This craftsman can produce exceptional armor with a chance of producing unique armor. That's a pretty sizable garrison. Alright, well, we can't upgrade it this turn because we're building our capital up. We're going to go ahead and end the turn. We've secured that territory. Now we need to go for the tea house. Tingling. As one, there we will be a scourge of chaos. Yunshu requests your military support against Hai. I can't. A pity, no matter. I can't do it right now, Yunshu. You have my word. We will join you soon in the war. But I've got two enemies near my home provinces that Last I need to take care of. Craftsmen dedicate their entire lives in pursuit of perfection in their craft. Securing one in your service will gain you the, the best, best weapons, weapons and, and armor, armor in all of China. In all of China. Will produce a unique and powerful weapon. This will give the owner special bonuses and you can keep it for yourself or gift it to someone and improve their satisfaction. Huang Shao signed a peace treaty with the Zheng Yang. And the Yellow Turban Rebellion has been destroyed. Small city Changsha. Chang Chinshu and Guan Guan Yu. That guy's legendary, right? That guy is legendary. The god of war. I got the little statue, I got the fucking collector's edition of this game. Now that I think about it, it was really fucking expensive. Probably shouldn't have spent that much. Clay Warrior, Guan Yu's armor. I mean, it's still really cool. I really like the map and the art book. The statue is freaking amazing. I might use it for like a thumbnail. If I was gonna use it for a thumbnail if we ever fought Guan Yu. I would have my cat that looks kind of like a tiger because he likes to. When I first got the statue, he like tried. He would like kind of like fight with it. He tried to like bite it and climb on it. So I was going to use that for like a thumbnail. Well, we might actually have him in our army. The Green Dragon Crescent Blade. Plus 50 charge bonus. 3.8k melee damage base. 1.7 melee damage armor piercing. Plus, eight insti plus 18 instinct. Plus 18 expertise. Go on, use armor. Plus 30% range block chance. Holy shit. This character is willing to spy for you. Mm, damn. How much does he cost? His current right new spear guards. G militia. Ye archer. Ye archers. Who is he with? Spear guards. Immune to scare. Blood binding fury. 
Is it binding? F oh yeah, it is binding fury. As you can see in the little image, it's like almost like he's got ropes around him and he like breaks out of them. This is nearby enemy morale does not stack. He's immune to attrition from being regionless. Oh fuck. Uh, this is attributes. I thought that was like how much he costs. He's for Lu Bay for eight years. No, there's a possibility that he's a spy. Fuck, I don't think we can pass up getting Guan Yu though. Just had to keep an eye on him. Maybe use him as a spy ourselves. Oh, it actually shows on here who she's married to now. This must be like part of the new update, cause I this I don't remember this ever being part of the family tree, or I mean the court where it would actually show the image of people, of the people that your characters are married to. Yeah, it definitely never showed Sun Zhe's face next to Zhang Tiang. I like that. That really fucking helps. We're gonna recruit Guan Yu. We can't pass that up, man. He's the fucking god of war. The god of war. Death and destruction. We're about to make him a god of calamity. Okay, we need to build... Actually, what can we build here? We need to increase our commerce income. Because right here we're making... 741 from commerce alone. We're actually losing public order. Oh yeah, because of the faction support. It'll change in the following turns. In the coming up turns? Yeah, we're going to go for marketplace. We got movement points now. Finish this guy, Liu Kong's army off. Delegate that. Oh shit. Today we humbled our foes. 360 gold. Or replenish. Did he die? Oh shit, we did kill Liu Kong. God uh, damn it. I really wanted to attack Huang Zhu this turn. This part. The conqueror returns. That's more of towards the tea house. For China. To conquest. There's that army. Alright, well, we're gonna delegate this guy. It's really nothing. Not really worth fighting. Fight with utter belief, and you will be undefeatable. And we'll go ahead and occupy it. This belongs to us now. And now we have captured the entire commandery of Chengsha. We've conquered these commanderies, getting strong bases and all the resources that come with them. Let the horse heal with laughter. Nobody leveled up. What is this? Zaoyo. Oh, I think Zaoyo leveled up. Yeah, he did. Plus 10% character experience for this army. Plus 40% income from commerce, silk, and spice. He was ignored for his penalties for his own retinue. Plus 25% chance of avoiding ambush. Plus 8 authority. Plus 8 in cunning. Plus 8 cunning. Enables flaming shot. Plus 10 military supplies in enemy territory. That actually would be really useful. And the flaming shot is also really good.
repulsive perspective, plus four cunning, plus four authority. And it gives him a passive buff, plus 5,000 forest spotting. Holy shit. We're going for that probably next. We'll give him the resourcefulness. Apply that. His cunning has gone up. He's at 126. Can't give him a better horse. He's already got a traitor. We can give him the discourses of the states. Why not? Uh, and I think that's it, guys. We secured all of Ching Sha. Tea plants. This gives us plus 5 prestige, plus 70 income from commerce, which is great. We're making a lot from commerce now. We're at we're at 1,125 gold a turn from Ching Sha. 906 from Commerce. Almost no peasantry income. 270. I mean, well, not almost nothing, but still, it's not a lot. If we upgrade this, plus 10 reserve capacity, plus 100 income. So it only goes up by 30. No more prestige. But a bigger garrison. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me on this camp on episode 9. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you were entertained. As you can see, we have now finally secured all of our home province of Changsha. Ch Changsha. Changsha. And now we finally have the armor craftsman. Hopefully we can get some more good armors for our, our generals. Um, I'll continue to upgrade that building. Next, we're probably... Next part, we're, we're going to try to move Sun Tian towards Huangzhou. Or maybe take Liu Biao's territories. Um, definitely, possibly get Runan. Definitely take out Huangzhou. Then go for Liu Biao's territories. Huangzhou. That's actually we can still move him, so we're gonna put him in March. And then we'll move him towards Huangzhou. And next part we'll get we're gonna take him out. Our public order we still need to improve. So we're building that new regional city in Tiangling. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the, the video. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to continue with me on this campaign, as always, I ask you please subscribe. Only if you like my content. Um, if you didn't like the video, as always, feel free to dislike it. But please, if you do dislike the video, please leave me a comment. Because that really helps. It'll help me improve. And consider it like a good deed for the day. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see in the campaign next. I read all the comments. Thank you for watching. Shishini de Shokan.